the moment that I started to hear the moans and Rory Mercury clutching her legs, her thighs in pleasure? What was that? Apparently the souls basically enter through Rory and like then gets passed on to the afterlife or some shit. Like where does it enter? Which hole does it enter? The emeroid god, right? So basically the death god. You worship the death god and like she's a fucking the vessel of the god of death. And she's like Shinigami. The soul has to fucking go through her. And every time it does that, she gets super down bad. I'm starting to see why a bunch of lolicons added on with this theme of, you know, the kind of like Yandere. I don't know. Is it Yandere? I kind of to like basically get horny over, you know, blood and death like that. Kind of. She's pretty cool. Now, I think that um we had a peace treaty. We saved basically Pina Colada's bullshit. But then after that peace treaty where we went so we were so fair, Itami then gets like um prisoned by uh drill, you know, the princess girl, right? So princess's friends. So like, isn't that insane in terms of diplomacy? In terms of like um politics because you're basically shitting on the person that like has kind of political leverage and you just kind of sign a peace treaty right so this is gonna be pretty interesting to see what's gonna happen when pina finds out that one of her girls <laughs> imprisoned itami let's begin today's reaction you're gonna give up already Oh, they heard, they heard. Pina knows now. Oh, no. She threw a cup at her fucking forehead. No, oh, that's so mean. Well, she kind of fucked up. She kind of fucked up real bad. She's actually bleeding from her forehead, Pina. Oh. Oh, they really roughed him up. Holy shit. I, 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 don't, I don't think he was this bad last episode right at the end. They really fucked him up, huh? <laughs> Bro's a fucking uh, prisoner of war, right? POW. Bro's an actual prisoner of war right now. <laughs> this is war criminals, dude. <laughs> the princess's decision. We have so much leverage over them now, man. They won't. So, Apologize? Honestly, an apology to us would probably work. We're pretty reasonable people, right? The SDF, they're not evil. They're pretty much just like the most benevolent, you know, kind. Kind. They, they are! They've only killed the people that's necessary. There hasn't been like immoral things that we've been doing, right? You know what I'm saying? We did kill a lot of people. They were necessary. They invade self protection. <laughs> An officer in the ground, SDF, who has completed ranger training, they're permitted to wear a ranger insignia on the left breast of the uniform. <laughs> this is a huge deal to Kuribashi? So this is her finding out that Itami is basically a ranger and this is insane to her? Basically, Kuribashi can't imagine someone goofy and aloof as Itami, just a casual dude being a ranger, right? Because he's such a, like, to everyone else, he's like, oh, I love magical girls, my fucking weep games, I love anime. But then it's like, bro is like, gotten the best fucking training ever. And she's like, what, you? Okay, it's identity difference. Yeah, I, I, that's Itami. He's been doing that. Yeah, he's a mighty warrior. <laughs> she can magic? AOE, AOE sleep. That's kind of insane from Chuka, right? That's the first time we've seen her like actually use her powers. So she's got like mass AOE sleeping skills. What the fuck? That's kind of that's kind of insane. Oh, 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 is that a donkey girl? What are those ears? What, what animal is that? It's not a rabbit. It's not a dog or a cat either. Is that a rabbit? Are those rabbit ears or is that a donkey? Is that a fucking donkey ear? Are you sure it's a bunny? Do bunnies really have ears like this? Hmm. Wait! Cat girl! Cat, cat, cat girl, cat girl, was her cat girl? Is she cat? She's the cat girl. So then there's the there's a the guy that really loves cat girls, right?
Kakarol. どうされましたかにゃ。にゃー。いや状況はどうなの。Oh, it's the Giga Chat made. 伊丹様には最高のおもてなしをするよう。我ら。But you fuck him up and now you're saying we have the greatest care. グレーを働いた騎士殿たちはきつく出席を受けており、誠にありがとうございました。So much apologies. Ah, you're gonna need more than apologies, man. イタリカこのような仕打ち。もし制裁としてこの町を攻め滅ぼすと。We will join you. Let me join your side. Fuck it. I, I, I don't want to be here anymore. Fucking take me with you if you want to take this any time. I'll fight with you. <laughs> Is this the maid's you know, exit plan? Synchronized g o s h u j i n s a m a You know what I just realized? This head maid? You're immune. Look at that fucking job. Look at that fucking cut, dude. Hey. あの今の二人は存じませんかはキャットピープルでございますよ。パーシア・マミーナ。Because she was treated by Medusa s n a k e r Liberal nature. So basically, just like,、uh, what, what's her name in、uh, Mushoku Tensei? Eris、uh, Borealis Grey Rat. That family line, the dad. What was his name? Was his name fucking Jeff or some shit? I forget. But that dad, no, the grandpa, the grandpa was a big furry. And the grandpa wanted a fucking cat girl, fucking furry maids, all of it, right? He, bro, Philip, right? Philip and his dad. So basically, this dude is just a huge furry enthusiast. He just wanted an entire fucking army of fucking maids and cat girls. <laughs> He's not racist, man. He's very inclusive. <laughs> she, he gives the same scent as the previous count, as in, like, she can smell the degeneracy. She can smell that Itami is a fucking furry. I thought Medusa made people turn to stone, but you know, it'd be kind of annoying to have her blind all the time. She can suck it out, how? With that snake, she just bites on. <laughs> So, 100% of the girls see this. Kuribashi will get even more upset, right? That a ranger such as him is somehow just like getting this degenerate, like furry fan service, right? No, they're not mad? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. What's her name? What's her name? Bonus? Bonus? Bonus. Bonus. Bonus is so hot, dude. Bonus is so hot, dude. この一件を口実に先端を開かれれば、帝国がどうなるか。ポーボーズス。こたびのことは、なかったことにする必要がある。<笑> the cameraman was on point. He's like, don't worry, we'll, we'll let you know what we mean. Immediately zoom in into the absolute zone. The fucking, the, the, the absolute territory, dude. <laughs> With your body, Boses. What does that mean? As a daughter of a noble, I've been trained in these matters? Is that implying what I think it is implying? Nobles train their daughters to serve other men sexually like that? With their body? What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's the cat girl enthusiast, right? He's the he's super into the cat girls. Alright. <laughs> Forgot about that. Kuribashi was fucking sick. Dude, she was like back to back with Rory Mercury, just like taking out all the people. Yes, she did have a fucking gun, but at the same time, she was fucking sick. <laughs> Polyester? I don't know. Oh, she's a Rory enjoyer. The death god is a compassionate god. I guess if you're on his side. That's great. Cultural exchange. Bozes is gonna culturally ex. Oh, it's Bozes? Oh, she's wearing a nightgown. Oh, oh, the curls. Oh, wow. Okay, here we here goes Bozes. You've been taught this as a kid, apparently. That's kind of fucked up. That's kind of really fucked up, man. Pina, you want to whore Bozes out like this? CGI door. That's a lot of people. 
It's fine. It, go <laughs> back. Get out of here. You, you're kind of out of place. Don't let him see you like this. No one even noticed that she came in. Is this even more humiliating? I don't even know. This rejection? Second daughter. Who's the first daughter? Ooh, you tell me Bose has got an older sister, Nason? Mm. Who is that? Do we know her? Is she still alive? Mm. <laughs> you just <laughs> got sent here for the <laughs> Maybe that was a pleasurable moan. So like, what? You fucking you fuck up the peace treaty on the same day it was signed. You get punished for that. Peanut throws a fucking glass at your head, you start bleeding. She tells you, hey. Make him forget it. Go apologize and act like nothing fucking happened off your body. She gets kind of ignored. Then she goes in there and just slaps him. Like, she gotta be, she gotta be dumb as a brick. Now, she is very pretty, so I'm fine with it. But I'm starting to realize Bozus is actually got nothing going on here, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> they got you pretty. At least she got that going. Yeah, this is just awkward. You guys, you guys fucking work this out amongst yourselves. No, we're good. We're tired. Yeah, the Senate. Back on Earth. Back on Earth. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna report. We're gonna report and basically say that hey. Pina Colada's girls were abusing us. We need to fucking start a war. And Bozus is the trouble. And Pina's gonna be like, oh my god, what is he gonna tell them? Pretty much. So is Pina just constantly gonna be like skits? just constantly just gonna be like overthinking them? Like, oh my god, if I do something wrong with Itami, he's gonna fucking nuke us. Uh. What? Offer your body? What are you gonna do? Oh? Uh, sure, I guess. Sounds like a good excuse to bring her back home. Oh, new outfits. Dude, he should have taught her. He, he should have taught Persia how to do a moe moe kyun, you know? He should have straight up taught her, like back in our land, right? Back in our country. Back in our world, we have some traditional culture, some customs, right? And uh, beautiful cat girls are supposed to basically go moi moi kyun. And he does the entire fucking thing and makes her fucking memorize it, dude. <laughs> okay, we're bringing Pina back to Arnest, but are we bringing her back to Earth too? <laughs> She's so scared of a car. <laughs> Wonder what they think of this. Is a if a chopper is an iron Pegasus, then what is this? An iron horse? Behold the power of vehicles. Gun magic. Iron magic. <laughs> yeah, soldier mages. Yep. Yep. Explosion magic. No, no, it's gunpowder and fucking friction and chemical reaction and go boom and bullet goes out, right? But Lele thinks that it's like, <laughs> it's just getting close. Yeah, sure. But they don't know about, you know, other weapons. Like, we sh guns are just like troops. <laughs> What's she gonna call this, huh? An iron elephant! We got a Pegasus, we got an elephant! Why are we attacking you? Why did you attack us? That's the fucking question. You started this shit. Ask your fucking dad. Or the griffin? Or the griffin? They stepped on our tail? Yeah, Lele's just chilling. She's just absorbing knowledge, man. She's changing up her vibes immediately. What, Pino? What is it? Hazama. Oh, he's like a pretty important Hazama. Hazama. Apologize? Hazama. 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 
How many stars does it go? Three stars? How many stars does it go? Yeah, Bose is miscommunicated. She says, To. To. I mean, it's better than, you know, Lele saying the exact same thing in Japanese again to convey the same fucking message to him when they're all fucking speaking Japanese because, god damn it, they it's the Isekai language and the, it's the same shit, but To. Yeah. He was a criminal, he was a prisoner of war. What the fuck? They're on her side. He's like on her side. He's like shitting on Itami. Nah, he's just chilling. She just rolled up on the fucking car and she's like, get your windows down. He likes teasing them, huh? Chuka coming back to Earth. Representatives of this world. Two nights. Where's she gonna stay? A hotel? Gonna stay at Itami's place? What about Rory? Is Rory coming too or what? Dad's dead! Move on! I don't know if it's a smart idea to bring Rory back, man. Like, Chuka, Lele, they're pretty chill. Rory. I don't know. I feel like she could, like, terrify them. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Old man? This like... So let's think, let's conspire. Let's put the tinfoil theory on. The Americans, the Chinese, and other nations are gunning for Japan because they have access to the skates. We're suddenly bringing people back from the gates. What would be America and China's best plan, right? What is their best scenario? It's to start some kind of internal strife so that Shit goes down and Japan doesn't monopolize the gate. How do we do that? Have the gate people, people from the gate assassinate Japanese people under the guise of China or America. If we have some spies that are like, quote unquote, on the gate side, assassinating people on the Japan side, then it's like, oh, you don't have control over this anymore. We need to then go in. I don't know. I'm trying to think of like a scenario where like America and China has an excuse to override Japan's monopoly on this and just kind of go in for the sake of helping Japan and freedom and shit like that. I don't, I don't know, man. Just kidnap Shuka? Bring him back to fucking China, America? I don't know. They could totally kidnap the girls and hold them hostage. Like, they could, they could just kidnap Lele or Chuka and hold them hostage and demand Japan that, hey, if you don't, you know, if you want them back, you need to, like, share a portion of the gate. Risa, who the fuck is- Cute Lele. Tired my ass. You didn't do fucking tra translate? Tra tr translate? To. 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 Oh, she already sleeping. The moon is red. Rory, are you around? The moon is red. Why is it red? Put the blanket on her! What are you doing? What are you doing, are you doing dude? Bro's intrusive thoughts almost fucking over. <laughs> Just almost out there, dude. <laughs> Gonna sleep here? The moon is still red. The moon is red. Yahari, Kyote Han or Kaisen no Kojit in his little Mori de Shoka. Whatever in a home on Wokele. Konoyoni, Techoni at Katariashi. Would the Americans that the Chinese try to fucking use this? In it's 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 small knowledge, so they would never know of it. Would the Americans and Chinese try to fucking incite violence because they did that? Oh, how dare you hurt our fellow humans in Japan that we don't really care about because we're other nations. But oh, how dare you hurt the humans? Therefore, we need to go in. Kind, kind of? Does that kind of make sense? What? I don't know. They're fighting for oil, democracy, freedom, liberty. Oh, what, what, what? What? What was that? Cultures are different. Don't know what you're fighting for. Then I started memeing. What do you mean? She looks out the window. Don't mean what? Mean what? Maybe this has to do with like her dad and the state of the current empire and Pina forging a new path for the empire that's free of dad's rule. Is that what 
Boses is kind of implying? Do they have a secret plot like that? Does Boses, Pina, does the Rose Garden have like an idea of that? I, 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 or is it just simply just like, oh, no way, you're going to Japan? I think that's pretty much obvious, right? I thought there was something more meaning there. Maybe, it, I'm, maybe I'm reading too deep into it. <laughs> Rory's gonna show up with her halberd. She might go nuts in Japan, though. Turtleneck sweater on Chika, man. Virgin killer. What? Yanagida Bro is a fucking shit disturber. Yanagida, I think, has good intentions, but he's, he's always just like, you know, he's always just like making shit a little bit harder for Itami, huh? Alright. Sure. This is gonna get very interesting, huh? Bringing the girls beyond the gate. We're gonna get a cliffhanger for you soon, are we? I think we are. Earth, Japan. <laughs> She's taking it so seriously. But honestly, it does make sense why she would take it so seriously, right? Because, like, this is their first time about to traverse fucking world, right? This is a huge deal. Like, the foreign unknown, right? So, to them, this is fucking insane. To Itami, this is like, ah, shit. Ah, shit. Hopefully, nothing goes wrong. Now. I guess this episode was just like um, maintaining the diplomacy between, you know, Italica and JSDF because, you know, Pina Colada's fucking girls kind of fucked it up, right? Signed the treaty and fucked it up in the same day and then doubled down and slapped him again. It's kind of crazy that Bo like the fact that Bozes did this is insane. Like, she like doubled down. That's kind of crazy. I still like her though. Because she's pretty. That's called pretty privilege. If she was not looking like this, I would be shitting on her so much more, man. And you're gonna say, why, why, do, why do you hate Sakura so much? She's pretty cheap. Glasses. Glasses, okay? Not even watching Code yet. Now, they're going back to Earth, and I have a feeling that other nations would. Maybe it's too early in the game, right? It's still season one, it's only a couple episodes, and maybe it's too early for America and, like, you know, China to get involved. But we did see a couple of their world leaders, you know, in different scenes, you know, kind of setting stuff up for the future. And I'm sure they're pretty much, like, upset that, you know, they have Monopoly over the gate. They as in Japan, and you know, whoever has the assets, that's how you win in modern warfare, right? So, interesting to see, see what's gonna be cooking, but that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.